Boo, you don't hit girls. You got it? Boys don't hit girls. Do you understand me? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.30 a.m. Boo's checking out Stella's slumber party. I think he's looking for crunchies. And there's Flash. He's all comfortable in one of the beds. Boo's on a crunchy hunt. Simba's in the cat tower. It is 9.23 a.m. and Boo is sitting in a round cat bed. I've never seen him sit in one of these round beds before. It looks like putting some paper in it did the trick. The question is, would he lay down in one of these beds? Who are you gonna lay down in that bed? You gonna lay down in the bed? What I was going to do is put these beds back downstairs where they were until the next live stream. But now I'm thinking maybe I should just leave these here today. I'm going to be out most of the afternoon in the evening, so maybe I'll just leave these here for a while. You want me to do that, Boo? Just leave the beds here because you've discovered them right now? Maybe he'll realize how comfortable they are. And there we have it. Boo is laying in one of the round cat beds. Oh my gosh. This is a first. This is the first time ever that Boo has laid in one of these round cat beds. I want to thank whoever made the suggestion of putting the paper in the cat bed. Look at that. Boo's hanging out in the cat bed but he's on the paper. What I could do is like cut a round piece out of the paper. I have a whole roll of this paper and uh, I could cut a round piece out and put that in the bed and see what happens. But I'm just about to feed the cats their breakfast. Except I was walking past the living room and I saw what Boo was doing so I said, let me get a camera. Good boy, Boo. I hope you like these round beds. That would be awesome if he uh, started uh, sleeping in these beds also because in yesterday's live stream, Splash was in a bed, Stella was in a bed, Simba was in a bed, and this one bed was empty. And that would be so cool if it was like all four cats in a bed at the same time. That's never happened. There's been three cats in a bed at the same time, but there's never been four. Boo! You like the bed? Or do you like the paper? Oh, you like the paper? But the bed's comfortable too, right? Right, Boo? The bed's comfortable, right, Boo? Yeah? <laughs> it looks like you're so comfortable you're ready to take a nap. Are you? For breakfast today, I am mixing in some of this Beech Nut Naturals uh, sweet potatoes into the cat's food. I just want to see uh, if they'll eat it. And... Um, if they like it. If I feed this to them plain as is, they won't eat it. But if I mix this into their food, there's a chance they will eat it. So I want to see if that happens. I think it would be good to give them some additional fiber and some additional 
uh, moisture and some additional nutrients. This is obviously a jar of baby food. It's more expensive to buy sweet potatoes like this in a jar than it is to make your own and puree them. However, um, since this is a test and this is very convenient, uh, that's why I'm doing it this way. If they do like it, then in the future, if I wanted to add more sweet potatoes, I could always uh, make my own and do it that way. I actually do have some sweet potatoes in my refrigerator right now. They're the white sweet potatoes. They're not the yellow ones, um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the cats like these. I just held out a spoonful of the sweet potatoes to Stella and to Boo, and they both turned their noses up at it and walked away. But this is what it looks like. I'm adding like four of these spoonfuls to their raw food. I'm gonna add some water, mix everything together. And this is what their food looks like after everything has been mixed together and water has been added. And yes, I do realize that in nature, cats are not gonna be digging up sweet potatoes and then boiling them or roasting them and then pureeing them and eating them that way. Uh, which is why this is just a little test. Today, Stella has decided that she is going to eat with Boo, and the two boys are gonna to eat together. That's really the way it should be. And so far, they seem to be eating the food okay, even though there's sweet potato in it. I did have to bribe Boo with a bench and field treat, so they each got one bench and field treat. When I was bribing Boo with the bench and field treat, that's when Stella came over to the platter. I also had to put the platter on the floor instead of the table to bribe him to come down to it. So we'll see how much the cats eat. Simba's already like halfway through his. Splash also, they're eating fast. Maybe they'll really like the sweet potato. It had a little bit of a bitter taste to it. Maybe Stella doesn't like it as much. There goes Boo. He's intimidated by Stella. And there we have it. Splash and Simba finish their food. And now Simba's trying to eat Boo's, but I'm gonna put a stop to that. Okay, Boo, I'll give you a little separate plate, okay? It's 9.51 a.m. right now, and I just came outside to give Hijack some breakfast. And there he is, he's hanging out. Okay, Hijax, I'll give you some food. You're hungry? You want some food? Okay, I'll give you some food. Okay. And some food? What I've noticed is that that uh, black pajama top that was outside of the vestibule is now inside of the vestibule. I don't know if someone is pulling it in after them, maybe for a little more warmth uh, or what, but that's kind of interesting. Like someone had to consciously pull that in there. I just gave him his food and then I came back inside. And there he goes. He should eat it. It's four scoops of the homemade raw food. He might be freaked out by the warm water because you can see the steam rising from it. Maybe he's just not hungry. It could be that he just had breakfast already. Either from the automatic feeder or from someone else feeding him because it is later today. It's about 2 p.m. The back door has been open and Boo just showed up. And I looked over at him, and his fur, it looked like it was glistening. It looked like it was jewel-like. Like it was different colors, and it was shiny. So I just turned the camera on. And I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice. And what the camera will see but his fur was looking so amazing
You gonna lay in the sun, boo? Yeah, you could lay in the sun. That's fine. Good boy, boo. You're a good boy. It is about 2.45 p.m. right now, and the cats are getting afternoon crunchies. And here's the other three cats getting their crunchies. And the reason why they're getting afternoon crunchies is because I am going to be home very late tonight, or I don't know how late, but later than usual. So I'm kind of reversing their meals. So now they're getting crunchies, and whenever I get home, that's when they're going to get their dinner. Because right now their homemade food is still defrosting. So I'm also giving them crunchies because a lot of times they like to sleep after eating crunchies. And that way they won't get into any trouble while I'm out. Eat your food, boo. I found this little one tablespoon scoop. Uh, in one of the drawers in my kitchen. I guess this was from some kind of like green powder that I purchased at one time. And uh, so this is perfect for the crunchies now. So they each had one tablespoon of crunchies and then they're going to get one more tablespoon and then that's two tablespoons each, which is an eighth of a cup. And that'll be, that'll be good for them. Again, because this is not like a full meal for them. They still have a full meal uh, which they will eat later tonight. Hydrox ate all of his breakfast, so I just gave him half of a can of the uh, Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Pate with some water. Go ahead, Hydrox. I just gave you some food. Go eat the food. I gave it to you. Go ahead. Go eat it. You could eat it. There you go. You like it. It's your favorite. So Stella was laying by the back door and Boo was laying on the step a few feet away from her and Hydrox walked up to the back door and started meowing and then Boo walked over and right now it's the three of them this could be like a family reunion, for all we know. The battery indicator is flashing on the camera, so the battery is going to die any second. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to be leaving out of this back door any minute. You guys want to smell each other? Want me to open the door a little bit? So Hydrox just walked down the steps. He might want more food. I could always give him the other half of that can of Trader Joe's. 
But this is big for Stella and Boo. I saw that, Stella. Why are you hitting Stella? Boo, you don't hit girls. You got it? Boys don't hit girls. Do you understand me? You don't hit your girlfriend. We don't have any of that around here. You got that, Boo? Boo? Boo, are you a gentleman cat? Are you a gentleman cat or are you a thug? Your thugness just came out, Boo. And I saw it. And I caught it on camera. So you can't deny it, Boo. I saw it. It's about 2.15 p.m. right now. Boo's been laying in the sun in his room. He splashes on the floor. But when I came in, he ran under the bed. Hello. Hello, Boo. I need to vacuum this um, runner that's on top of these shelves because there's quite a bit of litter that has been tracked on here. So that's on my to-do list. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.